I will be showing how to create a movie poster using After Effects and Photoshop. Now, a bit of background before I get into it. Uh, I created a, an animated short film uh, for a class project and for another, pla another class. I was assigned to make a movie poster for the film. And so I took, uh, I set up a scene in Maya and rendered out uh, different uh, layers and passes. And so I can go into After Effects and I've got my city uh, city layer there smoke couple of mat layers characters depth and occlusion and an adjustment layer so take a look at the city layer first we can add this and so I just darkened the background up a bit up a bit with uh, some mass here. And so I love feathering on those mass. Turn the mass off. Okay, so it kind of blends, blends in there. There's a building over to the side, so uh, that's darkened up a bit less. So let's see. One mask. You can see the effect of that. And then so our mask to kind of remove the influence of the first one. And I doubt the opacity down for that one. Yeah. Okay. And then to make this one darker, just an exposure and a lens blur to kind of blur the background a bit. So, a really fake depth of field. If I take that off, sharper, and more blurred, like that. So, uh, I'm working with really high uh, resolution images here, which is why it's only at 6.25%. Yeah. Okay, now we can add in our smoke. There's uh, some smoke, some basic particles, and so some smoke there. We could also throw a blur on that. Just glossy and blur. And put up pretty high because it is really large. Okay, that's more smoky. And then put our robot fill in. Okay, so there's a robot. Interesting little robot there. Yeah, and the robot has just the brightness and contrast. We can blend in a bit better. 
and the levels. So there. And I can go into superheroes. So there's my superhero layer. And I had to do a little bit of masking because there was. Yeah. Something wasn't working right with my layers. And don't want that in there. So just simply mask that out. And then here's my depth, which I can never quite get working. So I just came up with a, a solution to use some layers and such, or some masks and such. And I got away. I got around without it. And then I have these two occlusion passes. So there's some occlusion. And that just gives the tune shading a bit more depth and so on. So you can see it right around the corners and the edges. And you can actually use proxies for these images uh, to make it a little faster but since this was something quick I don't want to bother with that so you can see the occlusion effect right on the robot and then this is a little bit less seclusion, I think. I'm trying to figure out which one to go for. And I think I end up going for the first one, which is a little bit less, a little less seclusion. Something like that. You always want a pretty subtle occlusion. So, last thing is the adjustment layer, which I just had a little bit of a vignette on this. Yeah. A little vignette. And then. That seems to be good. Okay. Um, well, now we got to um, save frame as. So we save our frame as file, and then this will pop it into our render queue. And we can render out a Photoshop file from that, and open Photoshop. So this is the finished version. Uh, I have some missing fonts, so it's just really boring font, but this is the way it should look. And there you go.